pan okay and uh, very little oil about say two tablespoons now splatter the mustard allow it to splatter in south india young girls must elders will definitely know but young girls must remember this thing the mustard has to splatter first and only then you add the next ingredient otherwise the aroma of uh, the mustard doesn't come out uh, mustard is rind so first allow it to splatter i suppose you can hear me uh, 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 you know hear the splatter of mustard now the mustard has splattered well i add the jeera that's also splattering very well now i add I add the fenugreek. Splattering the fenugreek must become slightly golden color. And now add about just two to three uh, dried chilies. then you add the garlic you know garlic must be fried in oil to get that excellent aroma you get the excellent aroma over here in this stage itself now i have ground as it showed you earlier i have uh, ground the uh, tomato uh curry leaves and sambar powder with little bit of tamarind now into this thing i add this give it a gentle fry allow it to fry in the oil for some time wash out the mixi nicely add hing and i also prefer to add rock salt i use a lot of uh, rock salt in my cooking uh, now i am adding salt this is a rock salt nowadays you get even iodized rock salt uh, so as of now i am adding this much of rock salt allow it to boil the dimension turmeric about half a teaspoon of turmeric this is a super amazing dish very silly and a big show off for nothing actually that is how me and my son surya have named it the big show off for nothing but it's super m and you will love it the curry has come to an excellent boiling condition now there are people who have a sweet tongue and they like the sweet taste in the sambar so in this stage if you are a non diabetic person you can add a small piece of uh, jaggery If you are a diabetic person and you still want to make it feel sweet, you can add a little bit of stevia leaves or powder that you have. I'm uh, I don't like sweet in my uh, in my sambar or curry. Now I have minced the I added about a cup of dal. Okay, one about 130 grams. I think 130 grams of tuar dal. Okay, so this is uh, tuar dal was pressure cooked three to four times and I have. minced it with my blender now i add this dal inside the pan i adjust the consistency now now for you to see satya will see here but i don't know if you can understand this is the usual sambar consistency okay slightly thick but i am making something in between sambar and rasam this is neither sambar 
nor is it rasam in between it is saru that's sambar sambar rasam that's why sambar rasam sambar rasam okay so union. that it, it's a union of the two i told you it's a very silly and funny dish but very or sambar rasambar rasambar or sambar rasam or whatever so now what i do is i adjust the consistency of this now it is in between sambar it is not rasam nor is it sambar it's in between the two now, especially yeah, it could be a adulteration or uh, what happens is you know for me my bsl uh, raises when i have a thick dal i'm very comfortable i'm very comfortable when the uh, dal is little patla sa so if you see it is very thin and very tasty that's it about the saru a big show for nothing i told you no it's nothing big but amazing super yummy now i adjust salt Uh, to taste, bring it to boil nicely, and I garnish it. Now the saru has come to a a very nice uh, boil boil now. Now in my uh, yoga mas uh, style, she always says, "Tear the curry leaves." I have torn the curry leaves in my hand. Since I am holding the camera in one hand, I cannot show you how I tore it. I tore the leaves and I'm just putting it on it, and also tore the uh, coriander leaves and dropped it on that. Okay, and I am closing. Well, now to some of you, this is a disclaimer. You can take it as this dish is made slightly as per my innovative ideas. If you are a Mangalorean and you think that this is not the right way, kindly pardon me. This is my simple way of making saru. Thank you and a very good day to you all. Bye bye. Well, for today I have used uh, coconut oil. Uh, in the normal course, if you are uh, not a vegan, you can use ghee, desi ghee or anything. But since I am vegan, I have used coconut oil today. Thank you.